Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy. This is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, today what we're going to talk about is enzymes. What they are, how we use them, and why we need them, okay? So, but there's something you can do for me first. Please, uh, please consider subscribing uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, it's easy to do. It's free. It really helps us out. And... Uh, just hit that button, I think it's down on that side, or that side, one of you. Hit that button, please. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about enzymes. I mean, this is a subject we could dive, I mean, a very, very deep pool. And we're just, but today what we're just going to do is skim across at yeah, the top of the water, okay? Uh, enzymes are very, enzymes are a protein with a very specific uh, job to do, all right? Uh, we're talking about three, mainly three different kinds of enzymes. You're going to have your alpha and your beta, and you're going to find that in your, in your grains. Uh, they're resident in a malted grain. So that's where we find them. I mean, you can buy artificial alpha uh, if you did not want to use the grains. Um, so let's talk about alpha for a second. Alpha is what they call the big chomper, okay? You've got your starch molecule, which is a tangled mess. And so what it's going to do is it's going to chop that up into big pieces, all right? And break it down a little bit. And then after that, the beta is going to come in and take those big pieces and start nipping off the ends and bring it down into the molecules of maltose molecules uh, small, the small ends that our yeast can eat and produce the alcohol, okay? So that's the main two that uh, we're going to use. Okay, so what I got here is I'm making a bourbon mash. Uh, I took uh, near boiling water, my cornmeal, mixed it together and I am going to, that's hydronized, gelatinized, whatever you want to call it, uh, to start releasing the, uh, the starches inside that cornmeal, okay? So, then what we're going to do next is, and we'll go down in order of how we use the enzymes, and we're going to start converting those starches over into fermentable sugars, that's what we're, that's what we're after. Okay, so we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've had my corn here. It's been sitting a little over an hour. It's been sitting here for about an hour. It is... Let me bring you over so you can take a look at this. I, you can see it is a thick mess. It's like a porridge. Okay? Okay, like I said, this is like a thick porridge. It's, it's very hard to deal with. The first thing we need to do is we got to see where our temperature is. Alright, so I'm going to stick a thermometer in there. about 170 okay it's about 170 so she did drop okay now here's the fun part our enzymes if I put um, enzymes in there it will denature them and pretty much kill them okay all right now somebody turned me on to a this is Sebstar HTL enzyme it's a high temperature enzyme Okay, it's good for about 190 degrees 
down to uh, 150. Okay, and what it's going to do is we're going to mix that in into with our corn here, and what it's going to start doing is be that big chopper again because this is an alpha, and it's going to start breaking down the uh, the chains, the starch chains, and start to really loosen this up while it's cooling off because we our alpha and our beta enzymes are in our grain that we're going to use, or you could use, you buy this as a powdered form if you didn't want to use grains, but anyway. So, but we can't put this into basically somewhere like 148 to 150, okay? So, just as, this is what we're going to use first. I need, I need, if I can find it, that's tablespoons. Okay, I found my one teaspoon measuring. All right, so what we're going to do is this is a uh, Seb Star HTL, like I said. It's good from 190 down to 150 degrees. Uh, so basically, this is good for so for 10 pounds of grain, around about 10 pounds of grain. You use going to use one to one and a half teaspoons. And you're going to mix it right in here. So let's put this in here. I'll show you how thick it was. One. And a half. Okay. So we're going to let it, we're going to give it a little bit of a stir. Do its magic in there, and then I mean, we could put us a, a block of ice in there to get us down to a 150. We might do that, uh, or I might just let it sit here for a little while, and then we'll, we'll tech check our temperature again and we'll see how that's going. So, that's our first step. Uh, this is new to me, I've never used this before. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or anywhere you want, or your, or your uh, brew shop. Um, so let's see how this goes and then we'll be back okay so it's only been about 15 minutes and you can sure see a difference remember what it looked like before you can really see a difference uh, those enzymes are really starting to take a hold breaking in them uh, starch molecules okay so our next thing what we're going to need to do is to check our temperature and once we get down to I want 158 degrees and then we can go ahead and mix our grain in and then we'll try to hold it for there for an hour and that will be the alpha beta inside the grain it will start uh, converting them starches over into sugars okay so let me get the temperature then I'll be back okay it's been about 25 minutes total time since I put the uh, the high temperature enzymes and you can just you can just see how it worked it is amazing this is the first time I've ever used it and like I said it was a recommend uh, recommended by a, a channel or a friend to the channel and it works fantastic uh, it, it will make it so easy to mix the grains in okay so right now we're at 148 we're at prime uh, target we're going to mix our grains in, all right? Okay, like I said, it's at 148. This first enzyme, the high temperature, the Seb Star HTL, the high temperature enzyme. Uh, first time I ever used it, it is fantastic. It will always be in my brew house. Uh, it worked great. It brought down the uh, thick paste down to a very manageable uh, liquid or semi-liquid so now it's going to be time to it's uh, at 148 degrees now hundred forty-eight near 149 
So it will drop just a little bit when I put this grain in. Once I put the grain in, I'm going to double check my temperature. Oh, this is so easy. Okay, so what I'm doing now, this with the grain, it will it is my alpha beta alpha and beta enzymes. And what they're going to do is the alpha is going to chop some of them bigger pieces still down some more. And then the beta is going to start eating, uh, chomping down at all the ends and release the uh, glucose down into it to its simplest form to uh, uh, fermentable sugar. Okay, so that is our next enzyme that's working now. All right, and it will start uh, converting this over. Oh, so easy. I wish I knew about this before. All right, so let's double check our temperature. What we want is in the neighborhood of 158 or 148, 150. I think what I'm about to do is just add just a little bit of hot water. Just very little bit because I'm at 140, 146. So I'm going to just put just a hair of hot water in. Boost the temperature up just a little bit. Yes, it was amazing watching. Enzymes are a cool thing. Perfect. Uh, it's 148. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to put the lid on it. I can find it. And then I'm going to set my timer for an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes since we put the, the grain in. And, uh, oh, she's look, looking good. Let's get a little sample. Alright. And let me bring so you can see this. Okay. So you can see this. We'll put a little bit of iodine in it, and you look at that, there is no black, give a little shake, and it all goes back to the original color. So that means it's all the uh, starches has been converted over into sugars. Fantastic. Okay, so we added in our grain. So in that grain, what we're after, it has the alpha and the beta enzymes within the grain, uh, in the malted grain. So we mix that in, so it's going to, uh, that enzyme is going to be working on all them starch molecules to convert them over into uh, fermentable sugar, okay? 
So the only other thing that we might do is once we get into the fermentation bucket, we might add in uh, some gluco enzymes. And what that does is it works from 90 degrees down, basically at fermentation temperatures, and it will continue to uh, work on those starch molecules to convert them over, anything that's left over, convert in, into uh, fermentable sugars. Now, in some beers, you, you're looking for that residual uh, sugar, so you would not use that. But in the uh, spirit, spirit side, uh, we want every available sugar we can get our hand on. So, all right, so I hope you uh, got a little bit about enzymes. It's, it's kind of real tricky to catch. Uh, this has been enjoyable. And uh, thanks for coming, stopping by. Enjoy the adventure. We'll see you next time.